everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm All Thing Dressing, and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE Smackdown Live, 27th of November 2018. We kick off the show with Paige in the ring introducing the Smackdown Women's Champion, the man, Becky Lynch. She says she's the hottest thing in the industry and taking any time away is bad. She went to Raw, she fought and she bled, she turned up at Survivor Series and she was held back and stopped from fighting. There was someone else she had to watch fight at Survivor Series and then she brings out Charlotte Flair. She said, you almost gave Ronda the beating I would have given her. The difference is I would have not let her stand. It took you channel channeling the man to take out Ronda. Charlotte says she was just being herself, the seven-time women's champion. And she's more capable because she's genetically superior and has the mindset to do any solitary thing to get the job done. Becky said you went from copying your old man to copying the man. You are a bootleg, Becky, and Charlotte is now no longer pretending. Charlotte said, Nye must have hit you harder than I thought. You went from quirky to delusional. You're still copying my old man and riding my coattails. Um, she will stand out in the crowd and she'll be at TLC, which was then announced that Paige um, has made a match for TLC. It will be Charlotte, Becky, in a TLC match for the title. Oh, yes. Then Mandy Rose interrupts with Shania Deville, Selena Vega, Billy Kay and Peyton Rice. She said it's a joke. Um, how come you're just giving all your opportunities to your former PCB members? Uh, Naomi then comes out and she's like, we are all capable and talented. Why can none of us get a, ch a championship opportunity? She then says there'll be a battle royale with all of you women. And the winner will go and join Charlotte and Becky in the TLC match, which I thought was a nice touch, making a proper opportunity for the women. Uh, it was an alright segment. I liked the back and forth between Charlotte and Becky, the other women coming out trying to demand stuff. It was an alright segment. I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10. Then the Usos uh, are in the back. Says they'll be the one team on SmackDown, uh, which led to... Um, to a segment that was from earlier that day with Cesaro having words for Big Show about what happened last week. Show punched Cesaro knocking him out and Sheamus says they're better off without him. Combined segments, solid enough, 5 out of 10. We then go to the match, Jay and Jimmy Uso, the Usos versus the Bearer, Sheamus and Cesaro, in a quite fantastic match. Uh, Cesaro tags in, Jay stops Sheamus, Cesaro with a knee to Jay's back, Jimmy... Uh, and Jimmy with a roll up for Niffle. Jay tags in. Cesaro misses a splash. Jay with super kick. Jimmy tags back in. Splash for the three count. Solid match. 3.75. Absolutely solid Smackdown match. Really good. Check out if you get a chance. It was really good. Then we go to my personal backstage segment of the night. The New Day and Miz are in the locker room. He said they're watching Miz's best work. He says he did not know they were in Marinas. That's what he called Marine fans apparently. They showed Mace's match from last week. Uh, he said, while well, the new players were playing with Cranberries, he was fine for his lives with his bestie Shane. Kofi reminded Miz that they won Survivor Series, but Miz said that match didn't count. He said he also said that Usos won that match. He said he can beat any of you. He's going to talk about Shane having a match. Big E then talks about Miz's character in the Marine, and then he's outed as a Marina and walks away. A uh, solid segment. 7.5 out of 10. It really did amuse me. I did enjoy this little... Um, tidbit it was good then AJ is told in the back that it's time he makes his way to the ring and starts talking about Daniel Bryan saying it's a load of BS and trash it doesn't matter whether it's the new Daniel Bryan or the old Daniel Bryan he's looking forward to smashing his face in he doesn't have to wait until TLC he said Daniel's not here Daniel's not alive events last week it looks like someone's been watching wrong getting ideas on how to do things this is a house that AJ Styles built he never missed an event as champion. This is where he belonged. When you roll out of your hyperbolic chamber, make sure you're a TLC. A solid enough um, promo from AJ Styles. I'd give it a good 7 out of 10. It's a decent promo. AJ has always done fantastic work. We then go to Lars Sullivan promo package. That was alright. Not really going to rate it. Uh, we then had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev. Rusev attacked, um, Nakamura attacks Rusev from behind before the bow. Running first kick. Um, then a Shinsuke. Uh, Shin, Shinsa. His finishing move. 
knocked him to the floor and then another Kinshasa. There you go, I got the word. Um, I'm not really going to rate it, to be honest. There's not really much there. It was just an attack before the bell. So I'm going to kind of just... It's not what much I can rate, okay? If I'm going to give it a, a 1 out of 5, it wasn't really a match. I don't know. Uh, then we have photos of Jeff Hardy in the ring because it's Jeff Hardy's 20th anniversary in WWE. Yes, they got anniversary correct this time because he's been in the company since 1997. To anniversary means the first year. So 20th anniversary would be correct in this situation. Good job, WWE. Actually did it right. <clears throat> uh, Jeff, thank, um, we see a lovely... Um, shot of all the roster on the stage. Michael Cole introduced him. We have a lovely video package showing a lot of Jeff Hardy's craving moments, winning titles, the whole nine yards. It was a really good video. He then thanks everyone for watching his great moments and he couldn't believe he had done half that stuff. This business has given him a way to express himself. Um, he's been here for the highest of the highs and, and felt the lowest of the lows. You've all stood by his side. He gets a delete chance and then says, just delete that. I found that funny. He'd not be here without Beth and his kids. I'd like to thank him for making this night possible. This is no way a retirement speech. He does not know what will happen, but let's find out together. Samo Joe's music then plays, comes out and says, uh, he apologised for being tardy. He was going to pop some bottles of champagne, but uh, with Jeff, that might not be the best thing. Shane tries to take Joe's mic, but Jeff says it's okay. Joe says... Uh, it's good you got to see the video because your problem wasn't uh, coherent to in any of the moments to actually see it. So referencing his alcohol and drug problems. Okay, let's go with it. Um, yeah, he's he's sick of seeing him being put on a pedestal. Um, he says the demons never really leave you. Get rid when they take over. He's, next time he's got a way to t um, a one step program to stop this. It may be quick, but it won't be painless. Jeff said, joking up with Rainer's parade. He's almost has ended his career 20 times. Let's make a memory right here. Jeff's ready for a fire, but Joe walks to the back. <clears throat> a decent enough segment. Are they teasing a rivalry? I do like that. I love... Uh, they kind of blurred the lines between his drug and alcohol uh, abuses with it. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, solid... Um, I liked the career aspect. Uh, solid 7.5 out of 10, I'd say. It's a solid segment. We then go to Miz versus Kofi Kingston. We had Miz trying to cheat, but um, Big E and Xavier Woods stopping it. Like he got a chair. Woods took it out. Co Kofi with a trouble in Paradise for a three count. Uh, it's alright. That was a 2.5 out of 5 match. Wasn't that good, but it was alright. We then have Randy Orton make his way to the ring with Mysterio's mask. He said, he says, disrespectful, disgusting, and disturbing. These are words used to describe what he did to Rey Mysterio last night. He un never understood the big deal and what was so special with a piece of trash that he pulled off Rey's face. He'll never learn the history because he did not care. He does not, it is not done to disrespect Rey's culture. It is meant to embarrass him and take Randy, uh, take him off the pedestal you put him on. What did it show, Ray? is just another one of his victims. His victims are three most dis uh, destructive letters in wrestling. Oh, Ray Mysterio makes his way down wearing a neck brace. They fight. Randy manages to get the advantage by kicking him in the neck. Ray does hit a 619, but Randy manages to hit him with the elevator DDT. He gets... Uh, Ray puts a chair on his throat and then sends him into the ring steps. Official agents get Randy to leave. A uh, solid promo fight. Loved all of it. A solid 8 out of 10. It was a really good segment. I love sadistic Randy Orton. Ray Mysterio is a sympathetic babyface in the situation and a very good one he is. Really, really good. We then have Shane McMahon is texting in front of the World Cup trophy and Biz wants to know where Shane was. When he asked him uh, to meet him one third of the way, Shane said they're not partners. While meets cleans their trophy, he said this trophy is a child. He knows that they are the best friends in the world. He that makes him family. Uh, Miz tells Shane to start acting like it. All right, solid uh, four out of ten. It did what it needed to do. Then a battle royale. I'm not really going to mention main most of the stuff, but Asuka 
um, goes down to just her and Sonia Deville. Mandy Rose tries to a minute ask her when she's on the outside on the um, side of the ring, but she managed to kick her off. Um, and a massive pop uh, pop up knee to eliminate Sonia. Asuka wins. So yeah, that was a solid uh, um, battle royale. Not many exciting moments. I'm just going to go with a two out of ten. It, it did what it did. It gave Asuka a good moment. I like that. And you got to see Becky and Charlotte ring ringside, not happy about it. So that was good. Uh, overall, a solid solid show. I'd say a good. 7 out of 10 show much better than Raw which would have rated about 1.5 to 2 out of 10 last night because it was dog shit this was a much better show bringing up storylines progressing it I liked it, I liked the show a lot more now as always if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like, please support me on Patreon link in the description below subscribe to see more content and I'll catch you later bye